What is one thing that people don't know about you? We'll start with you, Katie. Um, Monty, people don't know about me. Um, I can't sing or I can't dance. Mike, what is one thing people don't know about you? None of their fucking business. <laughs> Amanda Serrano, what is one thing people don't know about you? That I actually don't like fighting or arguing outside of the ring. I love to fight in the ring, that's my home, but outside don't like to get into fights or arguments. <laughs> Jake Paul, one thing people don't know about you. I want to kiss Mike's big juicy lips. What keeps you focused? Training or fights like this? What keeps you focused? I can't answer these bullshit questions. <laughs> Him? Mike, I'm Jake Paul has aspirations I'm to be a world championship level champion. boxer. From what you've seen so far, will he be a world champion boxer someday? Hey, let me just be honest. He's improved a lot. Yeah, he did improve a lot. But he's not going to have a good night when he fights me on July 20th. What is Face off. It felt pretty hard. Make up your mind, were they hard or am I fat? Well, you're fat, but you had hard muscles, okay? <laughs> but outside your muscles, you're fat. Right off the weed. Hey guys, Joey Hayden from the Dallas Morning News. My question is for Jake. Jake, every time you sell a fight, every, every, every win you get, every knockout you get, you seem to level up, but there's still people, there's haters against you, there's people that say you aren't a real boxer. If and when you beat Mike Tyson, is this the fight that puts the stamp on Jake Paul the boxer? Yeah, 100 percent. They say he's the baddest man on the planet, so let's find out. Apparently, he's the final boss, moving up the heavyweight, and continue to prove all these dumbasses wrong. That's what I do my whole entire life. Move yourselves. Move yourselves. I love the biggest challenges in the world. That's what's made my whole entire career is taking big risks. And I, I want the toughest guy out there. I want the biggest fights. And making history is what I've done my whole entire career. And this is no different. Netflix, Mike Tyson, it doesn't get any bigger than this. And everyone will see July 20th. I will prove them wrong once again. I think you're suicidal. I think you're suicidal. That's what I think. Right here. Then it's also in the one question for the main eventers and one question for the co-main for the main eventers. How big it feels to have the biggest game in North American history if y'all sell out Jerry World? So Canelo didn't do because he did 75. I just have one thing to say. Canelo, he and us like a de boxeo horror, papi! And for you, my uh, all, all the fuck you done, how big it feels for me to sell out Jerry World and have a hundred thousand people see me? I was born to do this, but this is nothing new to me. This is this young boy over here. Actually fight a contender in your weight class and not do gimmick fights. I think you just called Mike Tyson a gimmick? Mike Tyson's 58 years old or will be at the time of the fight, yes. So will you I respect him? Mike Tyson? Will you fight him? Why did you just call me? I didn't call you anything. So in due time, sir, I will be fighting for a world championship, and I will be shutting you the fuck up and making you eat your own words. And just as the rest of fucking punks. I don't know. Picture me losing to him. You're, you're gonna have a 